What's up guys? My name is Brent, I'm from PrecisionLED.com and here we have a 97 Toyota T100 we'll be performing an LED interior light install on. Now this is the first and only generation of the T100, so this installation is compatible with all years 93 through 98. So today we'll be installing a Precision LED 5730 style kit which come with these three interior trim tools you'll see us using throughout the video. We have our serrated knife tool, our fork shaped wedge tool, and our pointed wedge tool. So today we'll be performing an installation on the front map, the dome, the footwell, the license plate, and the reverse. So let's get started. So we're gonna start by swapping out the front map lights. Now as you can see, I've already gone ahead and swapped out the passenger side bulb, so we're gonna show you how to swap out the driver's side. We're gonna be using our serrated knife tool, the flat end, in order to get access to the bulbs. Now, in order to gain access to these bulbs, we're gonna to have to remove this whole outer casing here but not to worry, it's pretty simple. Uh, we're first gonna just want to remove this uh, release cap here that's at the bottom of the casing. And you can do so just by taking the flat end of the serrated knife tool and just by prying inside any portion of this clip here, uh, coming in perpendicular and then just prying outward. There we are. And then there are just a few clips holding this uh, casing in place, which are uh, in the back of the lens casing here. So we're just gonna take our bare hand and pry from right inside of here and just pull out very gently. And there we have access to the bulbs. And so now we'll just be removing the halogen bulb. Now you could release the bulb just by pressing down on this inner tab here and the bulb should release. Just be careful because they can be a bit warm. And so here we have the premium 5730 style LED. We'll just pop that in. Now it's important to note that these LEDs, they're non-polarity specific. So you can just pop them in any direction and they should turn on. And you just want to be sure that the LED boards are facing downward. Everything looks good. And so now we'll just reassemble the casing. Now we're first going to want to just line up these uh, rear tabs here and then just apply a bit of pressure on the front tabs until it snaps into place. And then we could just pop the release cap back on. So now we'll be swapping out the rear dome light. Now there are just four clips that are holding this lens into place. There are two on each side. So again, we're just gonna be using the flat end of our serrated knife tool, and we're just gonna wanna come in from one of the clips uh, on the side where the switch is, and then just create separation. And once that is loose, you can just come down, work your way down until the rest of the clips release. So now we have access to the halogen bulb. Again, you can release the bulb just by pressing down on this clip here but the bulb is a bit hot, so we're gonna catch it with a rag. And so here we have our LED, so we'll just pop that in. We're gonna start by placing it on the stationary side and then just prying it into place here. There we are. And again, you just wanna be sure that the LED boards are facing downward. Everything looks good. And so now we'll just reassemble the lens. Now we're just gonna wanna line up the front tabs first. And once those are in place, just apply a bit of pressure on the back. And so now we'll be installing on the footwell lights. Now this installation is pretty simple. Uh, there's just one tab that's actually holding this lens into place, which is right here on the outside. And so you could just use uh, one hand just to pry that tab outward. And then with your free hand, you could just pull the casing open. There we are. And now you have access to the halogen bulb. Now this bulb is a bit warm, so we're just gonna be using a cloth to remove it. And so here we have our 5730 style LED, so we'll just pop that in there. And then we could just uh, clip the lens back in. So now we'll be swapping out the license plate bulb. And as you can see right here, we're shooting from underneath the vehicle and this connector here, that's, that's uh, the license plate connector. So we're just gonna reach in and twist this connector here counterclockwise in order to remove. And then just pull out 
and now we have access to the halogen bulb. So we're just going to be removing with our bare hands. Again, just be careful because the light may be a bit warm. And here we have our LED, so we'll just toss that in there. Now before reassembling everything, we're just going to test the light to make sure everything's working. So everything looks good. So now we'll just put the connector back in the housing and we'll just line up the tabs. And once everything is seated flush, we're just going to twist clockwise in order to lock it into place. So now we'll be swapping out the reverse light. Now in order to get access to the halogen bulb inside, we're going to have to remove the whole housing here, but it's pretty simple. Um, there are a few bolts right here as you can see, but we're only going to have to remove two of them. This one inside of this square bracket here, and then the one at the bottom. And you could do so just with a 10 millimeter socket and a socket wrench. Now, as you can see, the housing is already a bit loose. If you can't just slide it out very simply, you can just come around here with our fork shaped wedge tool and just help pry in between this crease in order to loosen up the housing. There are just a couple pegs that are holding this housing in place, which are just right here. And so the bulb that we'll be swapping out, the reverse, is this one right here, just in the center. And so you could just reach in and twist these tabs here counterclockwise and then just pull out and remove. And there we have the reverse halogen. And so now we have access to the halogen bulb. Now in order to remove the bulb, you're just going to want to first press down and then twist counterclockwise again to release. And there we are. And so here we have our reverse LED, so we'll just pop that in. Again, just line up the tabs, press it down, and then twist to lock the bulb into place. Now, before reassembling everything, we're just gonna test the bulb to make sure everything's working. Everything looks good. So now we'll just place the bulb back in the housing. And once the tabs are lined up and the connector is sitting flush, you're just going to want to twist these tabs clockwise until the bulb locks into place. And now we'll just reassemble the casing. Now you're just going to want to line up these two pegs here just with the corresponding holes. And then lastly, you could just re-screw uh, these bolts in. And that's the end of the installation. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at help at precisionled.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Now, like we said before, please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.